So, welcome back to the channel. My plan, as I mentioned at the end of the last video, was to very much continue with the Peugeot Bimmer. Slight hiccup, parts are quite tricky to find, or take some time to find and, and get them from different parts or different areas of the globe. Um, I'm waiting on a couple of bits still, tyres, inner tubes, some bits and pieces of the bright work. Also, I've ordered some equipment that will help me kind of polish up and kind of grind back some of the bits that are on there. So, whilst we're waiting for parts to arrive, um, I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of focus on something a little bit different. And as you can tell from the intro, we're going to look at this today. Uh, this is my trusty festival kind of trolley, beach trolley. Gets used for many, many, many things. Um, I'll put a couple of pictures in. You can probably see from the pictures that it's looking tired. It's been well loved, well used. Uh, I live near the seaside. It's getting rusty from the salt where the paint's come off. So what I wanted to do actually was create something a little bit more me, something a little bit kind of more retro cool. Uh, I want it to match uh, my classic camper van that I've shown pictures of before. Um, or check out my Instagram names here. You'll kind of see what I want to do. My aim with this is to very much kind of keep most of it as it is, so keep it fairly simple, but do something a little bit kind of more cool, retro with it. What I want to do, and I'll bring you in quickly, is I want to redo the wheels. Like you can see, they're kind of starting to rust out, but I want to kind of make them look a lot more kind of nicer, like a kind of cream. Uh, with this, I want to paint the metal work to the actual same, because it's fallen to bits still now. I actually want to paint this the same color as my camper van. But before I do any of that, you can see I'm going to have to grind back the old paint, treat the rust, and then give it a good primer and get it ready for paint. What I also want to do is, with these bits here, they're kind of just held together with nails. I actually want to put kind of nuts and captive bolts and that on here. Sorry, bolts of captive nuts on here. I want to kind of make these a little bit more sturdy. So it actually kind of has a better kind of look and feel to it. I also want to paint these to match the inside of my camp van to make these kind of a darker wood. Just so it looks a little bit more kind of older, a little bit more kind of weathered, but kind of actually give it kind of more of a, a nice dark look because this will be cream. And I think that the cream in this, it'll make that really kind of pop together. I just want to use similar style as I mentioned with these captive nuts to actually put bolts the whole way up. And the other thing I want to do is like with the um, American pickup trucks, and I'll kind of pop a picture up here just to give you an idea, is I want to add like a third layer of wood similar sort of design and style up here and then another smaller fourth layer up here so they're staggered you've got one starting about here one then starting about here and it'll give kind of more depth to the back of the actual kind of trolley itself also if like you want to put things in there you've got more kind of stability and more height that you can use i also think it'll look quite cool having that kind of vintage pickup kind of back wooden look on it i'll probably also put some pin striping down the side just around here just to kind of really make it kind of pop with the cream and also it'll kind of match what's in the coach lines and the works on my camper van. There's a couple of other bits I've got. Um, here's the plan. That'll probably change slightly as we get through. I might have some other ideas, but um, I think what we do now is I'll strip it down. I'll kind of record the process of stripping it. And then once it's finished stripping, I'll kind of give you guys an idea of what the next plan is with each individual part of the trolley itself. Okay, guys, see you in a bit. guys so what i've been doing is just kind of with the time lapse you saw i stripped the car or the flyer into its kind of three elements um i've got the wood bit which we're going to do one thing with i've then got the base and the, or the tray we're going to do a separate thing with and then we've got like the wheels and the other bits and pieces so what i'm going to do now is kind of focus on each of those in turn and just kind of keep you posted of what i'm doing so guys let me just bring you in here for a second so as you can remember, these were all the bits that went across the top of the, the car itself. Um, it feels like I've stripped out a hundred nails from each of these kind of brackets that held the wood onto the actual metal part of the car itself. Um, so it's stripped down. What I'm going to do now is kind of sand off all the rough edges, 
maybe fill some of the holes depending on how they look but most of them will be covered by these when they go back on or by the other versions to extend the height so we've got four of these rather than just two running around the rim or certain areas of the cart itself um i also want to on these um just kind of curve the top off so it's got a nice look to it so it's like there's a motion in the vehicle and it'll make more sense when i kind of do these because when i do the third and fourth layers i'm also going to kind of curve the edges so they come around like that so there's kind of like a nice flow to them so it'll kind of have the same look as the contours of the actual kind of flyer cart parts itself it also match kind of the curves on some of the wheels but that will kind of come clear as i go through the next steps um what i also want to do like i said is add that layer so i'm going to make some more of these with the wheels um they handily strip as you can see from the pictures i put up a minute ago that these strip into kind of two parts so one part kind of sits on this side of the wheel and then the reverse part sits on the other side they bolt together the only difference is the back one of these kind of has the stub axle that actually goes into the kind of axle on the trailer itself the plan with these is to grind all the rust off some are much worse than others um, and then what i'll do is i'll give these a nice kind of smoothing out i'll then kind of prime them and then we'll paint them kind of a nice white or cream so it kind of looks better and kind of more Retro vintage to go on the flyer itself should work quite nice with the cutter of the base that we're going to go with. And on this side, um, this is just some of the bits I'm going to use to kind of get the rust off. As I mentioned, I want to add that fourth layer, so I kind of pre made these kind of, I guess, what you call them, like hockey sticks. And to give you an idea of the comparison, um, so this is one of the ones which will hold the four layer parts, and this one here will kind of hold um, the original parts. So I've made them much taller, but also because there'll be more pressure due to the height and what's in the actual flyer itself, I've made them a little bit thicker. But I've kind of followed the same design. Um, I need to drill the holes through these in the different areas and the additional holes in these so we're not using nails. But you get the idea is this will kind of allow me to have four layers on there. And some of the short ones here will be just kind of for the three layer piece. But again, I'll kind of explain this as I step through when we're kind of putting the, the part back together itself. All these would be kind of stained or varnished the same color this bit here is because i've got the idea that i might want to kind of add matching the it's still here it's kind of i want to put this in here to have like kind of if you want to put an umbrella in there like a parasol at the beach you can kind of stick that in and just have something that's in the flyer itself or kind of sit between the in one of the corners where the wood meets some sort of kind of accessory holder on there i may or may not do that but it's just an idea i'm thinking about at the moment and all these bags of bits here are all the bits I bought in terms of the hardware. So I've got um, brackets here. As we go up the layers on the wood, these brackets will kind of go on the ends. So there'll be a bracket on each end of each one at a right angle just to secure each of these to each other. So if you imagine it's like that, there'll be a bracket on there just to add some stability so not all the kind of pressure is going through the bolts at the bottom of here into the fly. It'll just make it a lot more stable and kind of rigid when it's in use. And then these bits on here are just kind of extra bolts. As I mentioned, we're going to replace all those nuts. So I just bought these to go through each of the bits of wood and through the fly part at the bottom. Uh, same with these. Uh, and these are kind of the captive nuts. So rather than kind of having the kind of the nut and bolt coming through and you see the end of it on there, this would give it kind of a nice finish on the outside. Just so kind of when you're looking at it, there's nothing, no kind of sharp edges. And it looks much nice to have that kind of domed nut on the end. Uh, and this bit of wood here. Is a bit that will cut down to make kind of layers three and four. Cool. Speak to you in a bit. And the last bit which we want to kind of focus on here is the kind of base itself. The actual underneath side here, you can see it's not in bad condition. Um, obviously, we'll give it a rough up before we paint it and make sure any of the loose bits are around where the, the nuts and bolts where we get all the only flaking bits of metal off there and, and kind of paint off and kind of any metal we treat first the inside bit that you can see here is where when you see most work you can already kind of flake most of the paint off but obviously like moisture's got between it and underneath but what we'll do is we'll get all the paint off we'll then get like an aggressive wire brush in there we've got all this back to as much better metal as possible what's then left we'll then kind of treat with a kind of a, a rust remover and sealer and then we'll paint that down so this will probably be the, the kind of the tricky bit not too hard but just kind of more labor intensive but I'll keep you updated on each of the three segments as we go and kind of show you the progress. I'll break it down to kind of three mini segments. Cool.
Right guys, I want to give you a quick update in terms of where we are with the wood part of the vegetable trolley. Um, as I mentioned, I want to add some additional layers of wood. So what I've done is you saw me take all of these bits off the actual fly of the trolley itself. These ones now are now uh, no longer needed. Uh, we can just kind of get rid of those, but I might keep them just in case I have any issues with any of the others for now. Um, you can also see here, I've cut the wood to different lengths. This is for the kind of the third and the fourth layer that I mentioned at the start of the video. To support those, I've also made very much um, or a lot taller um, kind of stays. So these bits on the side will now encompass like three or four bits of, of the side kind of slats on the edge. What I've also done is just made sure I've got enough and I also want to actually give these a bit of a radius edge. Just I think when you're looking at the car itself, it will look nice to have that kind of curved edge. It will also mirror what I want to do on the top two bits of the fly in terms of the extra bits of wood. I want to give them a nice edge, like curved radius edge. I think that will look quite nice. Um, nothing fancy. So I've worked out the kind of the, the curvature I want of the wood, which will kind of match what I've done here. Uh, I used a really precise tool to actually do this, aka this bit of tin. I just drew around that, shaded the bit I want to cut off, uh, and I will go through and cut those. Next steps are to use these uh, really high-tech equipment here. I have a uh, belt sander, a palm sander, and different grades of sandpaper and a wood saw. I'm going to use those just to basically trim off with the saw, and then I'll choose the different sanders to kind of make sure I've got a nice raised edge on here. I'm also going to do, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, these are kind of chamfered, these, they're curved edges. I'm going to do the same on the new bits of wood I've cut just to give them a nice smooth edge and also make sure there's no splinters. I'll just sand each of the edges down. And lastly, I was trying to work out how dark I wanted the wood or what kind of finish I wanted on the wood when it's painted on the flower at the end. This is like a glossy varnish, like a yacht varnish. Um, I don't know if I've got the tin out. It's this one I used to draw around. In my opinion, I think this thing's going to be too shiny, it's too yellow. This one here is like a like a wood stain. I think a couple of coats of these will get nice and dark and pick up the grain more. So I'm going to go with this approach when we do when I paint all of the wood here. But I probably will do two coats. This is only one, but it kind of it's my preferred option. Right, let's get back into it. do is um, see if we can get some of the rust off the front of the wheels. Uh, some are worse than others. I'm imagining like sea salt, whatever got left on there or just some sort of water. Uh, start off, I'm just going to try this kind of a wire brush on the drill so we can get most of that off. If not, I'll take it for a, a ride on the wheel of doom on the machine, see if that gets it off. It doesn't need to be perfect. What I want to do is get all of that off, treat it and then kind of give it some coats of paint to make that look a lot better.
We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a one-time exclusive offer. Do you need alterations or sewing-related services? To learn how to thread or use a sewing machine? To know your cotton for me hessian? Or how to hem a curtain or make a cushion cover? Then look no further. Lewis, the linen legend, is here to help. Just call now on 0800 I don't know how to do this properly. Or email lewis at thelinenlegend at searchyoutubeinstead.com. Thank you for watching and now back to your regular program. Right, quick update everyone. Um, I've done a fair bit since the last section of the video. It's actually a week on, you know, live admin gets in the way. But what I have done, I'll bring you up to speed on. And then I was gonna do like a time lapse of kind of rebuilding the flight. What I'll probably actually do is just work on each segment individually, then just post up a couple of pictures of kind of each bit as it comes together. And at the end, I'll do some kind of beauty shots and slow you, show you kind of round what I'm doing and, and how that looks. But as you can see here, so this is all the hardware and I'm, I've painted the tray now. Um, I've actually spray painted the outside and lacquered it all so you kind of get a good finish around the edge. And the inside I just used a colour matched metal paint. Just want to make it really tough so it doesn't chip. And I'm also, as I said at the start, going to put some covers in here. As you can see over here, um, I've done the wheel section. So we've got the backs. They're painted just in a really tough um, black paint. Just so the one they blend into the frame and also they don't get any rust or corrosion going forward. The wheels are then colour matched to what we did on the tray. These are all prepped, sealed, painted, lacquered, should have loads of protection on. And then the wheels, um, white wool, just for that retro look, they'll look much kind of more neato when all the centres are in and they're reinflated, but they should look pretty cool. I might have to do one more coat of the white wool. I've been leaving them for about a week and you can see some of the oil was just coming through from the tyre. I might need one more coat. Next on here, as you can see, I've made the cushions. These are just from Hessian Sacks uh, with kind of some insulation. I had left over some foam for when I did my camper van cushions. These will be in the flyer, but you'll see them at the end. Just some kind of, yeah, cool looking coffee bean sacks that I had left over. Cheapest chips to buy, but look pretty cool. And then in here on the desk, um, this is just all the woodwork. This is now stained, drilled, all the measurements are done for each of the different bolts that will now go through rather than using nails like we did before. So yeah. Let's go. Here it is, all built up and finished. I have to admit, I'm pretty proud of how it's come out. It looks a lot better with all the hardware and all the paint and the changes. Um, I'll get it out in the light in a minute just to kind of do uh, some more kind of better shots, some beauty, some slow mos and kind of actually go into the detail. It should pop a lot more in the sunshine. But yeah, looking good. I'm pretty impressed with it so far.